So I actually saw this drama a few years back, and of course back then I just didn't scrutinize things as much as I do now, and honestly, all I saw was food and these eyebrows for the whole show, so I mean, I really did miss out a lot. Luckily, this drama is simple enough, and it's actually a fun ride to go back and look at the first few episodes. So let's get started. Now, in the beginning of the drama, we see a girl named Shan Shan rushing to the hospital to donate blood to someone in surgery. Before the ordeal, she learns that the woman whose life she is about to save is actually the sister of her boss. This guy's name is Feng Teng, he is a business tycoon, aren't they all? And as usual in the romance, he is the most socially awkward guy ever. And naturally, he is grateful for his family's savior. And when he sees her for the first time, he begins to stare at her for an uncomfortably long time. And I get it, okay, it's Zhao Li, we all want to stare at her all day, but you're kind of looking a little desperate there, buddy. Like, just give her some personal space, okay? Now, when Shan Shan gets back to work, uh, Feng Tong's family starts making her lunch with pork livers, the main course, made differently each time as their way of saying thank you. And these lunches are brought to her every day. So Shan Shan starts to feel a little awkward, you know, because her colleagues are super nosy and they want to know why the boss is feeding her specifically. And all this gossip eventually drives Shan Shan to make a decision, taking her lunch to a very high floor and eating on the balcony by herself. The thing is, she's not aware that Feng Teng's the boss's office looks out to that balcony. And he has one of those one-way privacy glass windows so he can see her from the inside, but she doesn't see him. Because of this, Feng Teng gets a front row seat to Shan Shan's lunch every single day. Now this is where I finally understand the idea of the drama. It's not a romance at all, it's a show about how adorable Zhao Liyin can get while eating. And let me tell you, there is absolutely no limit to that. Anyway, a little further into the story, Feng Tang's sister decides to throw a full month party for her new baby. Now, Shan Shan gets invited by one of her colleagues to be his plus one to this party, and I guess this is where Feng Tang just can't take it anymore and he just has to watch her eat at a closer distance, you know? And I totally understand you, buddy. Like, I can tell you for sure that Bai Zihua is the only guy who could hold his fascination to water until the very end. Anyway, Feng Teng shares the ride that picks up Shan Shan. On the way, too nervous to make some actual conversation, he makes fun of her gift for the baby. Now, they arrive at this party, and there's really nothing that can tell you this is a baby-themed party. It's more like the adults having fun and uh, looking for dates. So during this party, Feng Teng once again tries to push his way closer to Shan Shan, and he does this by making her accompany him into the dining room. And like people just start clapping when they enter. Yeah, it was never about the baby, okay? Anyway, Shan Shan is pretty inconvenienced by this request, but she's like, okay, fine, you can make me walk anywhere as long as there's food. Anyway, afterward, in his own grumpy way, Feng Teng offers Shan Shan a ride home. <laughs> now, by the time Shan Shan nearly gets home, she gets hungry again because it's a long way from Feng Teng's house to hers, and she insists on stopping for some beef noodles. And now he gets a full view of her eating without any interruption whatsoever. So, congratulations, I guess? And then, I guess once you get the taste of something so irresistible, you just end up wanting more. And that's the case with Feng Teng, he basically spends all his time plodding his way towards Shan Shan now. And finally, when she refuses to take any more pork liver lunches from his family, he comes up with a master plan, making her come to his office to eat lunch with him and blaming it on his sister. And this is pretty much where the romance starts. In an office full of books, we know the guy never reads. Not anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> 